This is code.org. Import painterplus.java from the backpack. Click and painter plus. Boop. Boop. And if you're missing this, you can always hit new file and copy the code from there. Make sure the name matches. All right, so here we are. Write a parameterized constructor for the painter plus class. All right, and we've been through this a bit by now. So what is the constructor? This thing. This thing, this method, is what's used when we want to instantiate a new object. So I'm going to zoop over here real quick and just refresh it, right? Painter plus um, uh, my painter, or heck, we could call it X for now, and then new painter plus, right? This is going to instantiate a new object, and the object is going to be X, and X, what this tells the computer to do is, hey, computer, I have this variable X. What is it? It's going to be of a type. What type? Painter plus. Okay. Now, what am I going to give it? What value will it hold? Well, it's going to equal, my variable x will equal a new painter plus object. The computer says new painter plus. What is that? Ooh, painter plus file. Bloop. And now, zoop. oh, this. It runs this, and it's going to spit back out painter, because super just means extend what's above it, and what's above it is painter. What they're asking us to do now is to accept other items, to accept arguments into this. So they're saying, what if the painter could have all of this stuff? I'm just going to, let's see if I can get it all. Copy. Oh, nope. Copy. Oop. Slash, slash, boom, just a comment. Okay. So if we want painter to be able to have this stuff, well, first, right, because we don't have access to the painter class. This was given to us. It's behind a screen somewhere. We don't know. Uh, we don't have complete access to it. We're just extending it. But if we want to extend painter plus, because what super really does here is it's running the painter constructor, essentially, right? So if we want to give it some default values, and that's what's occurring. When you do this, when you have uh, parameters in a constructor, you're really wanting to do default values. So maybe you want to do in x location, or maybe start x location, and normally that would be zero. I don't know. However, sometimes you want to give people the option. None of this is required. I just want to explain this. You want to give this people the option to do int new x. All right. And so then you could have them set x in the constructor if that's what they want to do. Start x location to be different. Now, they don't have to. They could just run the normal constructor and they'd start at zero. Or they could use it in this way. So that being said, we need a constructor that allows us to pass stuff to painter. So painter is represented by super, like we said, this extends. And if it's represented by super, it needs x, y, string, and paint. I'm just going to believe them on that. x, y, I mean direction, and paint. It's going to need these values. Now you might wonder why I'm not doing like int yada yada yada. Because we are passing these values, right? We're not calling super directly. The thing that gets called first is our painter plus constructor. So this is what we need to give the initial values to. So this is where we would declare the parameters right here, which means this stuff, just going to copy it, control C and control V needs to go up there. And now that I have can pass it all of these values, X will represent whatever it needs to of painter. And we can go ahead and pa pa pass along an X value, a Y value, a direction, and paint right when painter plus starts up. So we could change the location. All right, let's see what they want us to do now. Instantiate painter plus. Yep, we got that. To start next to the traffic cone with five units of paint facing west. So I'm going to make some assumptions here, but X, Y, and traffic cone. Ooh, well, it's kind of squares here. So, ooh, Zero, remember, we'll always start at zero. One, two, is that, that has to be three, four, five, six. Ah, let's guess. That's the nice thing about code. We can be wrong. I'm going to say six and four, and I might break everything. Uh, I'm going to do west in quotes because it's a string, and then five units of paint. Let's see if this works at all. Oop, nope, too far. So four it is, and oop, four, yeah. 
And it looks like instead of six, five, maybe. Big money, big money, no whammies. That used to be a game show for old people, students. Don't mock me. You're already mocking me. I can feel it. Uh, three. Quapow. So this is confusing. What you need to understand is you can set variables. So you can set attributes right when you instantiate an object. The second that you do. I should fix this name. That's kind of gross. Let's stick with our, like the instructions say. And it's not required, but if you want to, right, sometimes we might leave it and start at zero, zero, like we have been. And that, you could just do this. But now, sometimes, we might want to give it values. Pretty cool. Onward.